I love heaven. The sense of your church. everyone this is our third day here in Harbin I am on my way to one of the famous tourist attraction of Harbin which is San Sophia Cathedral Church it's right in front of me it is so beautiful it has a Russian style architecture kind of look Sophia Cathedral shirt. Actually, my day started a lot earlier than now. Let me rebound the time to show you what have I done today. So basically, I'm coming here to take a photo shoot. I rent the dress, like the princess dress, and also have a full makeup. I still have my eyelashes on, if you can see. We have a photographer team. If you remember, we did once in Suzhou. We already took a photo of me wearing Hanfu, our Chinese traditional dresses. If you haven't watched it already, go watch it. I will link it down below in the description box. But now we have like another theme. So I'm having like a totally change of look. And I paid 600 RMB for this amazing service. Let's go back in time and let's see what happened to me this morning. Here's almost the finished look guys. Such a big, big look. Like look at the crowd on my head. It's so big. The dress is big. The eye is big. <laughs> oh, I have a friend. I have a friend. I have so many friends. We'll take a photo for one hour. We have this warm package to keep my arm warm. That was my morning and then let's see the finished look like we took some cool video there let's see together the finished photo after the edit from photo show team let's go So our next destination of the day is Zhongyang Street. If you come to Harbin and you're not visiting Zhongyang Street, you're not in Harbin yet. And I know it's a crazy decision to walk from the San Sophia Cathedral to this Zhongyang Street under this extreme cold weather. It's like 1.5 kilometers walk and it would take around 20 minutes to go there. If it's Zhonghai, 1.5 kilometers is nothing. I can walk for like 3-4 kilometers. But now it's Harbin. Yes, I know. I think we are here. 
Dongyang Street. If you want me to compare, Dongyang Street, it is something like East Nanjing Road in Shanghai. It's like Mengdong Street in Seoul, Korea. It's like Shibuya in Tokyo. Yeah, a lot of people. Let's see what's here. What's here to see? I started to feel hungry. You know what? I'm in Harbin. I feel hungry very often. Like I have to keep eating, eating, eating to keep myself warm. Normally I don't eat this much, but when in Harbin, I couldn't stop eating before eating ice cream. See? My boss told me to try ice cream in Harbin. She said it is such a nice feeling when the temperature is so, so low. In the same time, having an ice cream. And I really want to try this. Look at the amount of people waiting for an ice cream. The store behind me is the ice cream shop right in the middle of Zhongyang Street. A lot of people are waiting to buy ice cream. What is going on? Here is some kind of like a long history branded ice cream chain in Harbin. But we are not going to wait for that one. Maybe I think we could find some other ice cream shop somewhere. I don't like to wait for the food, you know? <laughs> I want to eat now. So this is the place guys, All Nations Firm. This is where we would like to buy the ice cream. So now we got the bread and then we have to get the ice cream. Like that. Yes, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, finally we got it. It's like a big, 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 big one. I'm going to try it now. Oh my god! But, ah, actually, I found a bench. My god, I need this. Okay, finally we got our big ice cream. It's like a giant big ice cream. I'm so afraid that somebody will take my phone, but it's China, so I think it's okay. <laughs> There's so many people, okay? Now I'm going to try. All right. Mm. Mm. You know what? Because the weather is very cold. I think the temperature of the weather is even colder than the ice cream itself. So that's why eating ice cream in an extreme cold weather, it doesn't really hurt you. If I'm holding it here until midnight, it will not melt, especially in this weather. And especially with the texture of the ice cream itself, it will not melt. Here we are to the last destination of our Harbin trip. This is the most Instagrammable place. I mean, the most Chiohongshu-mable place. So people come here to take photo. I'm going to show you whether it's worth it to come or not, okay? So we are officially here. Finally, we made it. So what is so special about this place is like there is this ice cube like all over. This place is really huge and it's really good for taking photo. So now it's become very popular and a lot of people have come here to take some cool pic. So yeah, it's our turn. Let me find some good spot to take some picture. No promising because there are millions of people here. But yeah, I'll try my best. Let's find some good spots. All right. <sighs> All right, guys. Seems like my attempt to take a photo here is not successful because there are so many people and I'm getting cold. It's so cold because during evening time, the temperature will drop very quick. So I would say this is the whole Harbin trip. 
Haben is the place that used to be on my bucket list always. Like since I was a kid, I have always wanted to visit this ice and snow festival. And finally, I made it. I'm so proud of myself that I can eventually come here like with my own money and also with myself. It's a truly solo trip. So if you would like to come to Harbin, I would highly recommend it because it's like one of the lifetime experience. You cannot find such amazing, unique experience like this anywhere, especially in Asia. So yeah, I would like to say goodbye to this amazing view. Do you like this trip? If you like, don't forget to hit heart on the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already. Fancy in Shanghai season 2, I would like to explore more of China. So there will be some more places that I would like to visit. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying with me during this three whole freezing day. And then I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Stay strong, stay positive, and stay warm, okay? But now let's say one last goodbye to this view of Harbin. I'm bringing you to this big ice cube plan. <laughs> and then, yeah, to watch this again, this beautiful sunset.